Welcome to 6405 Worcester Drive in beautiful Devonshire neighborhood, just south enough of Nashville to enjoy some nature, peace and quiet, parks, and a walkable neighborhood. You can see on this map how close you are to downtown Nashville, just about 25 minutes. Green Hills Mall is just 15 minutes to the north. Go to the east, 8 minutes to Brentwood, or west, 10 minutes to the new Bellevue area. Even closer to home, just a one minute drive from your front door, is Harpeth Hills Golf Course across Old Hickory Boulevard. You can also walk to one of the largest Nashville social events, the annual Steeplechase Horse Races. Hike a trail in Warner Parks or take your dog to the park. Lastly, although you have many grocery options, this map shows the convenient nine minute drive to Kroger and Bellevue. I can't really say enough about this beautiful yet comfortable Nashville home. You can see the English Tudor style influence with the decorative half timbering, steeply pitched gable roofs, and the coined stones embedded in the brick. The Circle Drive provides plenty of parking for family and friends, and the three-car garage includes a workshop and two extra oversized storage rooms. The freshly painted oversized front door with decorative lead glass, transom, and side lights welcomes family and friends. I love walking into this foyer with marble floors and winding wooden staircase and updated lighting. If you turn immediately to the left after walking in, you're looking at the formal living room with this wall of windows letting in the natural light. Hardwood crown molding, recessed lighting, built-in bookshelves, and cabinetry all make this house a real home. If I step into the room and turn around, this is what it looks like with the foyer to the left. And if I step back a little further, you can see how the furniture creates a great conversation area. And there's even room for a piano. Turning back around, you have another conversation space with the convenient switch-on gas fireplace to the left and the bar and game or conversation appetizer table to the right. Notice the designer architectural accent of the wrought iron decoration where the windows used to be. It's features like this and many others that you cannot find in new construction homes. Here's a closer view of this great reading or conversation space. The door that you see to the left in this picture leads to the laundry room on the left and a half bath bathroom on the left, but if you turn to the right, it leads to the master bedroom. Now I've turned around to face the front of the house, and this is the view from the back side of the room. Notice the unique architectural character of the curved wall. The door to the left leads to the kitchen. And one more close-up of the bar and built-in shelving and cabinetry and beautiful wrought iron architectural detail. Through the doorways from the room we just left is this great sunroom, appropriately floored with terracotta. And if you turn around, you can see the rest of the sunroom, which affords the owner access from the master bedroom to the view of the backyard when the French doors are open. Step outside onto the patio for a great gathering space. The owner uses outdoor heaters in the winter time to be able to enjoy the space year round. These shrubs can be removed if you'd rather have a view of the gorgeous backyard, particularly from your kitchen window above the sink. But let's go back inside and check out the master bedroom. I'd like to take you through this door on the left. Another convenient gas burning fireplace Brand new, clean, comfortable carpet for bare feet, extensive crown molding, and curtain encasements. The French doors can be closed and blinds shut for privacy. This door to the left leads to the master bathroom suite. The master bathroom was recently taken to the studs and refinished with updated everything. This door leads to one of the two large walk-in closets. The unique vanity with double sinks, round mirrors, elegant sconces, and makeup and hair vanity adds character. The door to the right in this picture leads to the other large walk-in closet with a window. Freestanding tub with elegant freestanding hardware, chandelier, and a built-in niche. 
No expense was spared in this walk-in shower with rain shower head, a fixed wall shower head, and a flexible shower spout. Not shown in this picture on the other side of the wall was a shelf and a seat in the bathroom. Now I'm going to take you back through the main foyer and now turn immediately to the right to take a look at the spacious formal dining room with the dining spotlights, beautiful chandelier, crown molding, and elegant chair rail. And if I step into the room and turn around, you can appreciate the large floor-to-ceiling windows and a view of the gorgeous front door. Let's turn around and walk into the kitchen. This island with a planning or seating area, prep sink, and plenty of space to stand around and talk is definitely the hub of the house. The island was redone with quartz countertops. There are even USB ports in the island. The bright white kitchen with the natural stone tiled backsplash is clean and stunning. Fabulous chef's gas range and double ovens has six burners, a built-in griddle, and an actual grill. And I love those French doors leading to the sunroom. Sub-Zero refrigerator on the left and freezer door on the right. The cabinetry is amazing with so much storage and organization opportunities. And also, notice the warming drawer in the island. And that silk sliver of door beyond the refrigerator led to the breakfast room. And the gorgeous bay windows over the sink area that overlook the backyard. And the appliance garage on the counter to the left in this picture is very handy. I think you could do some awesome cooking and entertaining in this home. And there's plenty of storage. I love the cabinetry and lighted shelving at the end of this room. The door straight ahead on the right here leads to the stairs to the garage. I love this cabinetry feature at the end of the room with a built-in desk. This is the breakfast room, and that spiral staircase leads down to the exercise room. This shows the gorgeous chandelier and the access to the deck, which I'll go ahead and take you out on so that you can get a feel for the backyard. This is a great grilling spot with a gorgeous view of the backyard. Plenty of mature trees and natural sunlight. Let's walk back in through the breakfast room. This is one of the bonus rooms. Tray ceiling, recessed lights, ceiling fan, wainscoting, and comfortable carpet. And the office is was beyond those French doors straight ahead. This is the view when you walk into the room and turn left, and you can see the spiral staircase on the left. And if I walk further into the room and turn around, you can see the breakfast room through the bonus room. And this is just the view when I walk around the back of the couch to the right. I love the decorative casings separate, separating the breakfast room from the bonus room. And stepping a little further into the room and turning to the left is that door straight ahead when open that leads to the kitchen. And the door on the left of that was the powder bathroom. This is the office again. It has beautiful wainscoting, crown molding, built-in shelving, and comfortable carpet. And this is the elegant powder bathroom, which is off of the bonus room. And let's go down to the exercise room. I think this staircase is a work of art. Turn around and you can see the adjustable built-in shelving and the wall of mirrors, and further around, you notice these windows letting in natural light, and notice the other built-in shelving behind the staircase. Now let's go back into the foyer at the front of the house, and up the stairs at the top of the landing here. Notice the decorative transom window. 
the chandelier in this picture has actually been updated since this picture. The owner has a gate also that goes at the top of the steps if needed. So right at the top of the stairs to the right is this spacious bedroom with large windows and its own private bathroom and huge walk-in closet. And here's the private bathroom. This bedroom is beautiful and has extra seating space and built-in shelving and a walk-in closet and a ceiling fan and gorgeous marble private bathroom. Now let's walk down the hall and if you turn around, this is the view back out to the landing. Notice the hardwood floors. In this spacious room is being used as a guest bedroom right now. These are two built-in closets flanking the floor to ceiling windows. And just another view as I walk into the room and turn around. Next, if we go across the hall, this is the guest bathroom. It includes hardwood floors, double sinks, another large walk-in closet, and a separate toilet room. And at the very end of the hall is the large upstairs bonus room with built-in designer cabinetry and shelving, lofty ceilings and a ceiling fan, two built-in study desks. This could also be a fifth bedroom. Plenty of space with nooks and two closets. Finally, let's go back outside and down the driveway. And let's go into the fully fenced gated backyard through the gate to the right here. And stepping further into the yard and turning around, you can see the patio beneath the deck and the gorgeous landscaping and mature trees and gently sloped backyard. The owner considered a pool and the pool company said it is the perfect yard for a pool right there. The yard is beautifully landscaped, peaceful and private. So call me or your real estate agent, if you have one, today to schedule your private tour of this one-of-a-kind Nashville home.